baby. I got a mustache. I got a mustache big as my car. My name is Jacob. I'm 26 years old. I'm an ESL teacher and I am six foot six or two meters. People always laugh at me. I was just driving, you know, with my knees up like they're supposed to be, pretty high, and someone said, so people just laughed when they saw me drive. I said, what's so funny? And it turned out that Legs are supposed to be straight in the car when you're driving. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> that was normal. <laughs> Amusement park rides, those suck. Knees my I'm I'm always thinking about my knees when I went to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, because three of their rides say six seven limit. And I was a little worried about that. Because at that time I was saying I was six seven. I was growing fast, you know, I was I was always pretty freakishly tall. And my feet were all were freakishly long, um, and I thought they were just still growing. And my mom would take me to the to the store to get you know shoes, and I would try them on. She's like, "No, these these don't fit. They're too small." And so I'm like, "Okay, I believe you because you're my mom, and I trust you with my life. So I believe you on this little thing." And so for years, I believed her that my feet were size 16, even until, for real, I'm not joking with you, until I was like probably 20 one, maybe 20, I realized, wait, this is not how shoes are supposed to fit. <laughs> and so then I started getting my true size, which is 13 to 14. Significant difference. Uh, one pair was size 18s, because one time it was like the only thing that, that, um, that I can get. It was like a certain Jordan shoe. Black and red Retro 11, they're awesome. And they're only in size 18. So I bought them thinking, oh yeah, I'm cool. And they were, I wore them like three times and I couldn't walk in them. I've moved here in June, two years ago. And since I moved here, I've moved like 13 times. First, I was staying in the Fillmore. It was Fillmore and something, Fillmore and Eddie or something like that. I lived in Soma. Lived in the sunset. That was terrible. I realized I don't like the Muni trains. I learned that from that experience. Mission. I've been in, I've subletted in the Mission three times. And then there was another one in the Mission, the outer freaking Mission. It was terrible. Geneva. I didn't, I didn't spend one night there. I paid for the month. Oh, and North Beach for a couple months. I mean, it was, I didn't have my own room. It was, I was in the living room. You were subletting a living room? <laughs> yeah, kinda. That was cool. That was on like Kearney and Columbus. So that was a cool spot. The worst one that I had was in Soma. It wasn't furnished. I didn't have any furniture, but it was only for a month. I brought in my air mattress and I set it up. Things were fine. And then I stayed there a few nights and I noticed that um, there was little black spots everywhere. I didn't know what they were. Exactly, but they were turned out that they were fleas, and so I had a flea-infested, furniture-free sublet for a month. The best one came to mind. It was on Valencia and 16th. I would sit out on the fire escape, like right on Valencia, 16th of Valencia. It was amazing. One sublet, I, I left a bike, and it was a pretty badass bike. It was pretty heavy. It was a beach cruiser. It's still at, I'm sure it's still there, I gotta go get it. I didn't realize that the bike I was, I was riding was actually a terrible and heavy bike. And it didn't really bother me until people started pointing it out. That bike must be so heavy, I'm like, yeah, it is heavy. And I started riding it less and less because I realized, this bike sucks. I left a whole box of stuff and I always told him I was going to come back and get it. I left all of my art stuff in that box. I never opened it when I was there. It's just a big brown box of art stuff. I never opened it. and. I still haven't, I don't think. I don't even know where it is now, actually. Now I'm living in Oakland with my sister, her partner, and my brother. 